night. I was up here from about 8.45 to 11 last night. It got dark and the lady inside her house uh, didn't want it to be filmed because she had stuff all over her living room. And I understand that even though that's not how she lives, she, she didn't want it filmed. So I didn't film last night, but wouldn't have been much good outside either. So kind of showing you what I'm seeing. I spent 50 bucks last night and I'll show you what I bought here in a minute. Today I'm buying a bunch of bib overalls some vintage jeans, some new jeans, some uh, full house books, lots of clothes, lots of books, some of this stuff. I mean, the prices are right. I mean, I spent 50 bucks and I had a lot of stuff last night, so. Toys, and I've seen stuff like this, but I didn't grab it. Uh, yeah, I know some of this stuff will sell. Some of this little tyke stuff i know that can make money but i'm trying to not buy smalls even though you still end up with smalls um it's hard to get out of it so i'm just kind of giving you an idea of what i'm seeing some of this stuff and a lot of this comes from storage lockers and uh that's kind of cool clothes like I said Whew. plush I did find some 90s Roadrunner Sylvester cat uh, plush and a Mickey Mouse that's got a cassette and then again you can see a lot of the clothes women's clothes I did buy a lot of clothes last night women's and men's and like I said you can see that some of the stuff this was $67 Oh, it's a positive attitude dress. And she's got her for five. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Shoes. I did buy a couple pair of Nikes last night. Three dollars a pair. Hmm. I did buy a bread maker. I'll show you that. Handbags. Just a little bit of everything. Dehydrator. Who's that? Hungry, hungry, hippo. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Lots of towels and panels and dish rags. Again, more clothes. Lots of Abercrombie and Aeropostale shorts. Like I said, I did buy overalls. And then more clothes and more clothes. What do we got here? I'm about to look that up. Okay, I uh, found this tin at a yard sale. Paid five bucks for the tin. The tin alone's worth ten dollars plus shipping. Charles Cookies. And uh, then there were four fly reels in there. Uh, this is a number 85 uh, Pimco. And most of these are worth about 20. I was hoping they were worth more, but 20 to $25 is what they go for. This one is, there you go. Shakespeare Automatic 1821. That's a $20 reel. This one is a model number 1837. And it is by Shakespeare as well. And then the last one is a Orin Matic balanced reel, model 1140. Again, all of these uh, are vintage and they're all worth in that 
15 to $25 range and I paid five for the tin and the reels. So I'll make some money there. I paid $10 for this. This is for personal use. So a bread maker. I've been talking about making bread. So there you go. That'll save all the labor, right? Paid a quarter for this. It's worth maybe seven, eight bucks. Bought this and tested it. It is a Denon AVR 2600. You saw it in the video. Um, I didn't know there was a difference in a five and a seven channel. The five channel's worth about a hundred bucks all day long. So I paid five, so I'm gonna win. But if it was the seven 4K version, it's about 400 up to 700. So anyway, I'll take it. Paid five for this. Um, I thought my daughter might like it in her house, but she doesn't. She said she her walls are full and so are mine. So I'll figure something out to do with it. Looks like that could have decent value above $30. So we'll see. All right, I'm back from the wars. Um, yeah, let's see. I spent $50 last night. I got there at 8.45 at night. Was there till 11. Then I came home and sorted through some stuff, mainly the toys, till about 12.15 and went to bed. Got up this morning, decided to run back over there. By the way, I spent 50 bucks last night. That's it. And $10 of it was something for me. Uh, a brand new bread maker and I've been wanting to start breaking bread and rather than do all the labor I got a bread machine brand new ten bucks So I'm show you what I got for 50 bucks and then today I went back and spent another 45 at Trisha's uh, same sale and then I went to another yard sale and I got four vintage fly rails uh, for five dollars with a ten that's worth ten bucks itself and then uh, a some wrapping paper, uh, what'd I do with it? Gonna find it. Now, anyway, it's here somewhere. I'll show you when I get it. For a quarter, Grand Theft Auto wrapping paper. I mean, somebody's gotta have that, right? Anyway, I didn't know what this was, and I didn't pay what's on the price stickers, but I don't know. Y'all tell me what that is. Isn't that creepy? No! <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, I don't know what it is. If somebody knows, tell me. I just, when I see stuff that I've never seen before, that's unique, <laughs> and no nasty comments from you nasty people. I know, I know who you are. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. Anyway, I got that. Two pair of shoes, and I haven't looked them up by the code yet, but they're both Nike. There you go. Three dollars for those. And uh, I don't see any, oh yeah, Nike running shoes. Okay, yeah, that's that's what they are, yeah. All right, we're finding, we've got to find places to put this stuff as I show you. These are, is they Kyrie? I don't know. Anyway, I'll show them to you. $3 for those, and they're Nike as well. And there's the signature. Y'all tell me what that is, you autograph people. But once I look up the, the code, then I'll know what they are. Three bucks for those. I got a vintage starter Phoenix Suns cap. That goes for about 80 with the tags. It doesn't have the tags, so probably 45 bucks right there. And yeah, I'll take it. Um, I looked up this Barbie. She goes for 20 bucks, 22 bucks. And she had her mark for $3. I don't know if that's what she charged me, but like I said, I paid 50 for everything you're seeing. So 20 bucks right there. I got this today, <laughs> funny story. Some kid walks up and he asked me what it is. And I'm like, this ain't my yard sale. And so I looked at the box and it says, yeah, air filter, right? So when he puts it back down for a dollar, I go look it up. That sells for over 40 bucks, that model. So yeah, I grabbed that for a buck, you bet. Um, I always grab uh, golf head covers. Looks like this goes for about $15, so no big deal. Probably paid 50 cents. Um, this was marked 75 cents. It's a calligraphy set. And it looks like that goes for about $15 as well. And then I got some LOL surprise dolls in a bag. And then I got another one in the little purse. And again, that's about 50 cents. And those will sell. I thought this guy might be worth something. He was in a bag, but he's not worth more than about $10, $12. But that's okay. I'll take it. It's all money, right? And then that was just in a bag with our toys. I don't think it has any value. Uh, 
this is a Barbie like phone or something. And it was in there with a hair dryer. And it was, there was also some of this other main stuff, but I'm going through the stuff that's not, not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle related. Um, this is an old Batman like dispenser and that actually sells for about seven or eight dollars. And then I saw one other, oh, here it is. Yeah. Who doesn't want Squidward, right? I don't know what it's worth, but that's pretty cool. And the rest <laughs> is Ninja Turtles. And they were all in bags and a bunch of them, this, this person had put a bunch of, I don't know what these come off of, but there's a ton of NBA jerseys in here. Uh, Nets, Kid, Garnett from Minnesota. Uh, there's Fox from the Lakers. And anyway, there's a bunch of these little jerseys and they were on these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. So I'll figure out what those go to and just sell that as a lot of clothes. But outside of that, oh, I got these too. I, I don't know why I picked these up, but they're, they're bottle openers, but it's a boy. It's a boy. Are they both it's a boy? Oh, yeah, it's a boy, a bottle openers. So I grabbed those because they're new and sealed and I thought, you know, what the heck. So anyway, I started going out, unboxing this stuff and seeing if I had any value. And I've sold a lot of these before and there's a few that I haven't seen before. Um, and they're all, you know, the older stuff, um, 80s, 90s. And I got a ton of them and I got this guy and he is not a Ninja Turtle, but he has a little bit of value too. Um, yeah. So this ain't all of it, folks. This is just part of what I got for 50 bucks. But there was one in here that I hadn't seen before. It was this guy. And he's worth a little bit of money, but he's missing his hand right here. So like a mummy Ninja Turtle. And if you don't believe me, look him up. Look at there. It's like a Bam Bam type Ninja Turtle. Um, there's probably, I would say, 35 in here. So, again, I grabbed them. This one has a bag I haven't opened yet. It's got a Mickey Mouse and a little tra trailer and a Power Ranger uh, toy. So, I haven't got to that yet. And there's just more of these Ninja Turtles. Man, there's a ton of them. And then Soldier. And here's some I hadn't even got opened yet. But this is kind of how they came, and I just would open them up and take the jerseys off of them because they had jerseys all over them. Here's some more, a Jordan, and it looks like a baseball player and a soccer referee or something. But anyway, yeah, paid uh, about 50 cents a bag, and they came about three to a bag. So most of these will sell anywhere from about $7, and some of them are worth over 20 So I'm good there. Um... What else did I get? Clothes now. Oh, wait, that's my clothes. Plush. Got this guy, and he's Fisher Price. Um, 1985 or 86. So if you know who he is, let me know. I don't know. Chris, if you're watching, tell me who he is. Who? He kind of looks mean. <laughs> Chris, tell me who I am. Oh, never mind. All right. Oh, this guy. Oh, Mickey's pants are falling down. This is a talking Mickey with a cassette player and a cassette in the back. And uh, if he works, he could be worth some money. I did see comps anywhere from about 25 up to about 79. So again, until I test him, I don't know. Um... Seemed like there was some other plush, and there was. I gotta find it. Uh, I had a Sylvester cat and a Tweety Bird. I mean, um, uh, Road Runner, and I don't know what I did with them. I did something with them. Anyway, I'll come across them because I'm gonna show you some more stuff. So today I went back, and I'll go through the hard goods first, and then I'll get into the clothing. Um, I got these boots. These are um, Sorel, S-O-R-E-L, winter boots. Nothing crazy. Probably 20 to uh, 35 or so. And then a bunch of these books, Mary Cat, Kate, 
Ashley Olson. I thought they might have some value. She had a couple of babysitter clubs, but unless I find a bunch of them, I don't pick those up. Um, but these are all Mary Kate, Ashley Olson, Full House. Um, oh, yeah. She just got pushed by the police. Yeah. Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, Nazis. Anyway, Mary Kate, Ashley Olson. It's a group of them, and I'll sell them as a lot. Um, I don't think individually they're worth more than about $4 a piece, but that's okay because I didn't pay much. Um, now we'll get into the clothes. This is today's stuff. These are some old uh, Wranglers, and I wanted to show you the logo on the pants. Some Langer, Wranglers have value, and these have the horse on the pocket. Now, these are used, so again, I'll figure out the value for sure. And then she wanted five for these, and these are brand new Wranglers. These go for about 20 to 22 so I grabbed those because hey, they're brand new. Then I recently bought some bib overalls for 50 cents a pair and I got like 10 pair and I've already sold like four or five of them. So between 15 on the worst pairs up to uh, 32. So these are, she wanted three a pair for these and there's one pair I got for a dollar cause they're kind of rough, but you can see they're bib overalls. And if you've seen bib overalls, if you know what they are, you know what they are, right? You know, you know. So I got one, two, and I'll pay $3 a pair for bib overalls because I know I'm going to get at least 20 plus. There's another one, three, four, and these, uh, there's another pair, but these are striped. My great grandpa wore the striped ones. I saw him in those all the time. So these have some staining. If I can't get the staining out, people will still buy them. I promise you. So if you see them, pick them up because even stain, you're going to get 15 or so, even with holes in them. Somebody actually walked up and showed this to me and said, you know, you want this and it's brand new. And I said, yeah, not really. And then I looked at it and it's single stitch. So I said, yeah, I do. I take my, I'll take it. So, yeah, I picked that up. And that's me scooting the chair because I'm too lazy to get up, so I'm tired. Okay, this is the pair that are Lee that weren't in great shape. They're worn out on the knees and they're stained, but there's no holes. So, I'll probably get about 17 or so, and I got those for a dollar because I asked her to give me a break on the ones that weren't in great condition. These are the uh, clothes I got last night. And again, I hope you're not bored. I'm just trying to show you what I got. Um, this is Lauren. Yep, like Ralph Lauren, you know, old 50 cents. That's a nice lavender sweater. So I thought somebody would want that. Not in July, come on, really? No. This, I couldn't pass. Anytime I see something unique, it's Tracy Evans, not to be confused with Tracy Parks. It was a dollar and uh, I just thought that was kind of a unique jacket. There you go. Yep. Ride them, cowgirl. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then I got some of this stuff, this Nike stuff. This is St. Gregory's. It's a uh, Catholic college in Shawnee, or used to be. It's closed now. So when I saw this old Nike women's basketball, uh, college stuff I grabbed it because they don't exist anymore as a college so it's closed um, this is a vintage single stitch shirt as well it's made by uh, Bright Star was it Bright Star or Night Star Night Star you know and it's a it's a uh, front and back it's just a cow <laughs> cow t-shirt but you know you ladies want this all right Front and back, 19 and 94 single stitch. There you go. And again, I grabbed it because it's old, all right, like me. And this is a Nike, another St. Gregory uh, Catholic uh, college uh, jacket. This one was a vintage jacket and you can I mean, if you've seen them, you've seen them. You know what vintage looks like. But these are like the, the members-only type jackets. And I believe that's what this is. 
and there you go it's like a windbreaker or golf type jacket um this one is a vintage ou and how you know vintage ou is the square o and u means it's older like 90s and this is a also kind of a light jacket and it's by starter as well and it's a medium so i marked a dollar this is cinch university and if you don't know cinch cinch is western wear and it's a hoodie so again this is nascar it's on a heavy fruit of the loom tag it's got the dodge logo on the front it's a long sleeve t-shirt and you got mr burton on the back and yes yes this is 2000 it is a long sleeve scooby-doo shirt and it's from the year 2000 so i got that oops and again another one scooby-doo different color same thing from the year 2000 long sleeve Ruby -doo. he's ready for a ruby day that scooby snack to you non-scooby speaking people this was a buck and it's brand new with tags it's almost like a quilted it's a susan graver um but it's like a quilted jacket I don't know, but it's still got the tag on it. I wish they hadn't written a dollar on the tag, but anyway, you see it. Look, there's Susan. Susan, hey, Susan, how are you? Yeah, I know you don't know me. All right, next one, another, it's by Lifestyles, and again, it was a dollar, and again, it's one of those vintage type, um, kind of a, I guess this would be more like a, you're out on the deck of a sailing ship or something, a sailboat. And you're wearing it. Yes, yeah, because you know you all go sailing. Come on. If not, you're going to at least sing the song by Criss Cross, right? On the radio. And you can pretend you're sailing in your bathtub or something. All right. Uh, hey, I just say what comes to my mind, folks. This is a vintage Nike windbreaker. There you go. And no team name or anything on it. It's got the swoosh on the back. And there's the old Nike logo, so 90s. Oop, don't spill that. One more jacket. And this is also a Quill Creek. That's a local golf club. And look at that. And then, and then all this is like 50 cents to a dollar a piece. This is by Sahara and it's a large. So, and now the last. I found them, I found them. And that's this is what I gave. There's Tweety, I'm Tweety. It's Sylvester, he's, yeah. Sylvester, Looney Tunes from, uh, I believe it's 97. And then I had to get him, I gotta clean him up, but I'm gonna stick him to my window. Cause I need him, I need Bart on my window. Backing me up. And then Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. And uh, same thing, Mr. Roadrunner. And then this one, only because it was from the 90s, it's it's Commonwealth, not to be confused with Commonwealth Picker, because um, he, he has Inaman, not dinosaurs. But from the 90s, I went ahead and grabbed that too for 50 cents. So there you go. That's what I spent $100.25 on. So how did I do? How did I do? Appreciate you. Like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Bat Channel. Same Bat Channel, same Bat Time, but same Bat Station. But where the hell did Batman go? You just hear him when I go. He's got candy. All right. Bye.